Hey guys, welcome out to the shop today. I had a weed eater that came in the other day, uh, picked it up on the side of the road and uh, tried to start it up and it cranked up right off the bat. Um, it's missing the trimmer head and like the inside bump portion and the throttle cable is a little bit frayed. But uh, when it started up, I was like, well, this is gonna be an easy fix. So here it is, a steel FS80 uh, Pro Series. Uh, everything is in pretty, it's a little bit dirty, you know, but that's not a big deal. Dirt doesn't hurt anything. Um, it feels fantastic. There's nothing loose on it, nothing broken. And um, whenever I wanted to go start it, it did start up and it ran for like a minute and then it just shut right back off. So I started looking, uh, went ahead and pulled the carburetor and replaced the uh, purge bulb right here and started it up and it ran like uh, just would idle perfectly. Um, I was worried about having to adjust the high and low uh, level for the carb and I ended up not needing to do that at all. But every time I throttled it up, it would just almost completely die out. And that's what I wanted to show you guys today. I didn't film it because I thought it was just going to be a carburetor issue. But I wanted to show you guys what exactly was the issue. So, like I said, whenever I went to go throttle it up, it would go and it would be like... Like it was just like a deep groaning sound. And uh, I'll show you some pictures real quick of uh, what, or I'll, I'll talk about it real quick. So when you're uh, bogging down, it means that something is kind of blocking the exhaust. And in some of the small engine equipment, you have this thing called a spark arrester. And this one conveniently has a hole cut out right here for it. And uh, you just simply pull up and pull it out. And it's just a little screen. So this was pretty much just completely covered up, causing it to have absolutely no way to exhaust the exhaust, if that makes sense. The exhaust fumes had nowhere to go. This is what uh, the before and after pictures of the uh, spark arrestor look like. All right, so we're going to go ahead and uh, crank it up so I can show you guys what I'm talking about. So this was... Uh, very simple to go ahead and work on. I'm going to try to do it with one hand and a foot. Uh, I didn't let it warm up. But uh, it cranks right up and has no issue running. Uh, I've ran around the yard a little bit, just walking around, and uh, it runs really good. So, making the uh, video pretty much to let you guys know, this thing was thrown to the side of the road, more than likely because it was running like crap. Um, and it wouldn't, it wouldn't stay running very well. Uh, every time you throttle it up, it bogged down. Some of you probably got sick and tired of trying to deal with it and just tossed it to the side of the road. These resell for over $100. Every single day I see them on the Facebook Marketplace. They resell from anywhere between $1 and $200 depending on its age. This one's a little bit dirtier, so um, you know it's not going to sell as high. But somebody passed up the opportunity to take the two minutes. I soaked this in the ultrasonic cleaner over there and then took a wire brush and just scrubbed on it on that spark arrester. And you can even pull them out and just leave them out sometimes. But that five minute job, somebody tossed this weed eater away and they potentially, I mean, if they were looking to resell it, then they lost quite a bit of money or they would have had to go out and buy a brand new one. And this one being a steel, 
I'm sure it was probably a landscaper or something, so they would have spent another $150, $200 on another weed eater, which is crazy just to pass that up. Pretty much just saying, guys, don't just throw your stuff away. Look into it, see what's wrong. YouTube, say, my weed eater is bogging down and this guy or girl, whoever it was, probably would have figured out what it was and then just been able to pull that out Throw it away, clean it, and then they would have been able to keep on going. Thanks guys for watching this short little video. Hit that thumbs up button if you've ever had this happen before and you made a good score and profit off of something like this. Thanks guys for watching. Leave comments down below and we'll see you guys on the next video.